What is up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to hack your Snapchat so you can get custom filters, spoof your location, upload pictures from your camera roll, save Snapchats without the other person knowing and so much more. So I've made few tutorials on this but they were all with iOS 9 so in today's video I'll just show you an update video with iOS 10 and how to get the same crack feature on iOS 10. So this works with all iOS 10 devices, no jailbreak required, so let's get started. So first of all make sure before getting started you delete the snapchat off your phone. Alright so once we are on a computer we will need to download three things onto our computer. Now we do need a Mac for this but if you have a Windows there is a way out but it is a bit longer process. It will require you to virtually install Mac onto your Windows system and use that to install the snapshot. If you're interested in installing Mac onto your Windows system I have a full video on that you guys could check that out I'll link it down below. And once we have Mac running on our system first thing we need to do is go to the App Store and search for Xcode. Now you want to install Xcode first, it's a 5GB file and it might take a bit to download. If you already have Xcode installed onto your computer, make sure you're updated to the latest version. For iOS 10, we need at least Xcode version 8 or anything upwards. So make sure you update your Xcode or otherwise this process will not work for you. Alright, so once we have Xcode on our computer, working and running to the latest version, go to Google. And we want to download this file right over here. And I'll have the link down in the description for this. Once you have this downloaded, extract the file and drag it to your desktop. After we have that downloaded, we will need to download the cracked version of Snapchat. So go to the third link and there will be a five second uh, advertisement. Just skip through that. You don't want to click on anything. And once you see skip ad, just skip the advertisement. And from here, make sure you're downloading it from the proper link and you want to download the Snapchat file. This is the cracked version of Snapchat and at this moment, this is the latest version of Snapchat 9.39. So I will be updating the links as needed. So download this. And once I have everything downloaded onto my computer, we'll get started. Alright, so once we have everything installed onto our computer, we want to open the PP site loader and the snapchat file that we just downloaded and we want to rename the snapchat file to app app.ipa and we want to drag that inside the folder click on replace and now make sure your device is plugged in and it is recognized by itunes and if you need to make sure you have allowed access from your phone so once we have everything running and our device is plugged in we want to open this file right over here and this will open xcode for us Click on open and here we'll see the project ready. Now first thing you want to do is change the display name and you could change this to anything random. And over here you want to put in 10.0 since we are running on iOS 10. Go to the team and from here you want to add an account. I already have my accounts added. And once I've done all of that you'll see all of the errors they went away. So now all I want to do is with my device plugged in and from here make sure my device is selected. I want to click on the play button on the top and this process could take anywhere from a minute to five minutes so be patient and let us do its thing and once it's done you'll see snapchat onto your phone. Alright so here I see snapchat onto my phone and at this moment we could close out of xcode. Alright, so now heading back to our phone, if you try to open Snapchat, it won't open. So to fix that, go into your settings, go to general, scroll all the way down to device management, and from here, you'll see the email address you used to sign in onto Xcode, and just trust the application. Once the app is trusted, go back onto Snapchat, 
if it'll open properly, you go ahead and log in. And over here you can see I have the cracked version of Snapchat running onto my iOS 10 device. So if I open a Snapchat, I could click on it and I could save it directly onto my camera roll. Whenever I want, I could mark my Snapchat as seen. I could go into the location filter and spoof my location to anywhere in the world. So let's say I want to go to Dubai right now. And I take a picture slide through the geo filters and here I see all of the filters available in Dubai and I could use this to upload pictures from my camera roll use this to create a group view snapchat stories without the other person knowing add custom filters and yeah guys that was it for today if you have any video suggestions you can put them down in the comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and as always thanks for watching now if you're having any problems with your xcode you could try going into your keychain access and delete any certificates you have over here And if that does not fix your problem, you could go into System Preferences, Users, and temporarily create a new account. And make sure you give it admin rights, and that should get rid of any settings or anything that was interrupting with Xcode and not letting you install the uh, Snapchat on your phone.